Hey guys, what is up? My name is Cartoons, and I'm really excited for today. It's my first Death Knight tutorial ever. You know, I know that you guys actually requested that I did this, uh, specifically the damage tutorial, because, um, you know, I do a lot of damage as a Death Knight, and I don't think I'm a seasoned Death Knight or a pro Death Knight in terms of control or, you know, how the game kind of moves, but, um, you know, Athlete, the many, many time rank 1 Holy Paladin, says that I'm the only Death Knight that actually kills things um, that he's noticed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I feel like I, I have damage on my side, which is good, because I was in full blues and got 2,500 in two days of playing time, so at least I've got that going for me, but I don't think I'm a great Death Knight, however, I do know how to do damage, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today in my in this video, um, and I have Vaporlock, my friend here, he's a druid that's going to be popping Bark Skin, and I'm going to kill him in a stun, so it's going to be really cool. Uh, basically, what I want to go for tell you is my spec and then I'm gonna tell you my gear choice and then we're gonna do the actual one shot which is pretty simple so I just want to get that up there for you uh, but as you can see in talents I take on holy blight lich born asphyxiate runic corruption death pact desecrated ground and breath of Cendergosa. so the important ones here are in holy blight and breath of Cendergosa. and holy blight's gonna put on your diseases instantly on the target whenever you have um, you know everything every bit of strength proc or whatever you need and that's going to be taking on them, as well as Breath of Cindergosa, which you're going to basically, you know, pool all of your runic power and then just, you, you know, use it all at once. And it's kind of going to be a, a uh, all-in type video. So, <clears throat> what you're going to do here, um, pretty much is work around having the immunity from the AMS. Because if you run Regenerative Magic Lift, then you're going to have like a 20 second AMS timer, which is really good. Um, so you're going to use that offensively in the beginning. Um, but pretty much what's going to happen <clears throat> is um, I'm going to go in with this gear choice, which is all versatility, PvP gear, and I'm enchanted versatility, I have versatility, uh, you know, uh, like the grips. I'm not even full gear on this Death Knight quite yet, but I have pretty much all versatility stuff. Like I have versatility boots, you know, I've got the chest plate, I, I want to get the versatility headpiece and the belt and, uh, you know, do like this, not the shoulders actually, and uh, I think that's, I think that's kind of how it works. So. Uh, but other than that, you know, I have everything versatility, um, and oh yeah, this right here is really important. The Scabbard of Kianos. Okay, so this is a trinket that, <laughs> it's getting nerfed pretty soon, but still, it does a ton of damage. Uh, 2200 strength for 15 seconds is really ridiculous. It's like a 40% damage increase or something. It's a really crazy PvE trinket, so, and most melee at the high ratings are using it, so, uh, yeah. I don't know, this is an insane trinket, but this is what I use, man. Uh, so, so be sure to, you know, macro that with your Pillar of Frost. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to this guy. I'm going to asphyxiate <clears throat> AMS, anti-magic shield, and asphyxiate. And then I'm going to obliterate three times. One, two, three. Going to use all of my runes. And then I'm going to use Breath of Cindergosa. Okay. Um, Breath of Cindergosa in this macro right here. It's going to say slash cast Pillar Frost slash use 13 slash cast Unholy Blight slash cast Soul Reaper slash cast Breath of Synergosa. Um, so, you know, you can have Soul Reaper in there or you can not have Soul Reaper in there. It's up to you. Uh, I guess for this video, I won't put Soul Reaper in there. I'll just use straight obliterates and I'll show you what, you know, what happens. Uh, but pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to three obliterates um, with Pillar Frost and the Scabbard up and then use Breath of Synergosa. And then I'm going to let my runic power tick down a little bit, and I'm going to empower it back up to 100 runic power. And then I'm going to use three obliterates again, and he's going to die in that stun whenever um, whenever I you know, use everything. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to this guy and just auto attack him, get a killing machine proc, get my unholy strength proc. Then I'm going to pop pillar of frost, stun, obliterate, 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 and then breath of Cindergosa, pop in power, obliterate, obliterate and obliterate so and he dies through that he also had um just so you guys know he had the uh, gladiator sanctum cheat death but he would have died instantly like uh he you know my obliterates uh, in arena anyways he uh my obliterates hit him for like 28k with yeah like this wasn't that much and it absorbed a ton because the gladiator sanctum reduces damage by 50 percent so i killed him through bark skin and a 50 percent shield wall so that's a pretty big, you know, damage mitigation, and I still kill them with just the one shot. Um, but, you know, in Arena, I actually pull anywhere between 40,000 to 60,000 DPS um, on that one target with that combo. And then it also can keep up after those uh, six obliterates. You can also get, like, a seventh um, if your Runa Corruption takes a little bit quicker and stuff like that. So, uh, But overall, it works really, really well. 
Um, you know, as you can see, I, I didn't do a whole ton of DPS because of the Gladiator Sanctum, but still, it did a ton of damage, and I killed him through Bark Skin and the Gladiator Sanctum with just that combo. So, um, yeah, I think I think that's normally how I do it uh, in DPS type of situations whenever I want to burst. Uh, m most of the time, I kill Druids within about four to five seconds uh, if you use this and you do it correctly, but sometimes <clears throat> sometimes they can get out of it if they pop, like, Trinket, Bark skin and tree form, which gets all of the uh, offensive cooldown or all of their defensive cooldowns immediately. So it's really important to note that with all of your offensive cooldowns that happen, so does their defensives, and then you can just stun them up and kill them with your partner again in uh, you know 30 to 40 seconds. So yeah, I hope I did help you guys today. If I did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And also, you can subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Cartoons out.